Right, welcome back campers. Uh, this episode I'm going to show you how to fit some uh, golf seats. This also applies to um, like Seat's Audi seats. Uh, I think it's the MQB system or something like that it's called. Um, basically the rails are wider um, and have slightly different fixing holes so uh, we need to modify the seats so that we can obviously fit them onto our seat bases. So these seats are much wider. They're also offset as well, so we can't just drop them on or necessarily just centralize them. So we're gonna to have to do a few modifications first to get them to fit. So first thing we need to do um, on the underside of your seat. So this is what the underside of the seats look like. Now, mine have actually already been modified, but what, what you'll see is, um, what you normally get is this stud. Uh, so the seat bases sit they've got like a stud here or two studs that sit in um, in the golfs um, so you need to basically take those out so uh, you can grind it out from the back or um, just sort of cut it out and then you'll have another similar thing down on the bottom um, and you obviously need to do that on on both sides of the seat um, most of them will come with an airbag as well so uh, if your if your van was already a single seat a uh, single passenger seat then you'll be able to swap the airbag cable, but because mine had a double passenger seat, basically um, I don't have the wiring for a passenger's airbag. So the airbags in the seats won't work. So that's just tied up and out of the way. You can remove the airbag from the side of the seat, but it'll leave you with a hole. Um, or potentially if I put armrests in it at another date, then um, I can fill that hole back in when I take um, take the airbag out and fill it back in with some foam. Um, so yeah, so if you're not gonna be adding a swivel uh, to your seat, which I am, then you are going to, you, you can leave, leave the rails longer basically. Uh, if you are gonna be adding a swivel, then you're gonna need to cut them down because otherwise the rails will hit on the B pillars. So um, these ones have already been cut. Um, I do need to do a final cut, but I'll show you why in a minute. Um, and then obviously we need to make some sort of frame for these to sit on. So I'm gonna show you those now. Okay, so let's go ahead and say you've cut down, cut down your rails now. Um, now you need something basically to fix them to onto the seat bases because the rails are wider. They're also offset. So uh, this is the driver's side seat. The center position is actually sort of here uh, for the seat, but the seat sits wider. So um, what you'll need to do is you can either buy or make some plates so these are the original ones i had um you know works great some box steel so if you're going if you're not making a swivel seat then um basically this will work fine uh so three mil box i mean to be honest it doesn't even need to be a full square a lot of um a lot of the the ones i've seen just get away with some box tube and just two two sections of it and then you can um just just fit that and drill the holes and then away you go um the downside of that obviously being that it needs to be offset so this side on the on the center of the van this side is actually in the same place so that's that's in the correct position um and then this side is offset so if you get some box steel you need to make sure that it's a lot a lot wider um you know you, you effectively need to get some plates for it um there are alternatives so you can buy buy adapter plates from like Transporter HQ. Um, they make some, but the downside of those is that they don't, uh, they don't work with swivels. So um, I've gone and purchased some from uh, a guy I found on Facebook. Uh, his name's Rob and uh, his page is uh, Volkswagen Transporter Mods UK. And what Rob has actually done um, for the driver's side, he's basically made an adapter piece that sits in exactly the same place so um it, it raises it up slightly um he's cut these plates and then welded them together and put fresh studs back in so this left side um just slots in and stays uh, in the position it's supposed to be and then uh, on the right side here we've got uh the the other plate and this this offsets it so this pushes it out towards the driver's door um you know which is what we want to get that correct central position so he's done all that work for us uh, it was around 200 pound maybe 220 plus postage um, fantastic service really great guy to chat to um, you know if you need any advice he's, he's super helpful for that
Uh, now on the passenger side, it's not as critical. Obviously the passenger doesn't need to be central to the seat base. Um, so these are just two plates that are, um, you know, space it basically evenly. Um, and on the passenger side, it's got notches basically so that you can, uh, so you can rotate the swivel. Uh, so it's got some chamfers on there uh, because if it was dead center, then where the filler neck for the fuel is, uh, basically that, that bit of the B pillar comes out a lot further. So you, you wouldn't get a swivel on there at all. So this needs to be central. Um, and on that passenger side, you would get away with some normal box section or another type, but obviously this is what, this is what I've gone ahead and used. So, um, uh, and these are fantastic and um, I, I definitely recommend using them. Essentially, this is where the plate is. This is where the chamfers are to stop it um, catching on the pillar trim. And then this is where the rail comes. So uh, we basically just need to take a chunk off the edge of here, um, do that for all four, four of the rails on both seats. Okay, so now the edges are cut. Um, obviously there's just bare steel now, so um, I've got some hammerite from all the other stuff. Right, so anyone that's ever driven um, a Golf or a Skoda or you know most other Volkswagens that have this platform, you'll probably know that the uh, the adjustment lever, so the the sliding uh, mechanism lever, sticks out quite far. It's not so bad in a car because your legs are obviously sort of horizontal or you're sat down, but as soon as you put it in a van where your seating position is much higher and your legs are sort of resting. Uh, especially in the 6.1s where they don't have a footrest as well. So you'll find that your leg comes back and it's constantly hitting on this adjustment lever. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to shorten that down to make it less in the way. Uh, it becomes quite a prominent and annoying thing. So first thing to do obviously is just take this off um, and it's kind of on like barbs with a clip. So it just pops off like that. Um, and then there's the profile inside that basically runs straight through. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna chop an amount off here. Um, and it's also uh, sort of thinner on the end and then naturally gets thicker further, further down. So um, we're gonna have to make sure we also take this back as well um, so that it's thick. Otherwise you'll, you'll just end up splitting um, this, which is sort of what I did on the other one, but managed to recover it. So, um, you know, Naturally, we don't want to do this with an angle grinder, ideally, because um, you know we've got all our seat here. Um, I've also just taken the, the tray out, um, just because it's uh, you know it's a bit in the way when it's on the front, so it's going to be much easier. Um, and what you'll find on the inside here is these quite large clips. You're going to need two um, sort of large screwdrivers to push those out, so that the tray can then kind of come past these uh, catches here. So there's just these little tabs on the end. So they're, they're obviously what stops it popping out. Um, so you just need to release that. Um, now I'm gonna take probably 30 or 40 mil off. Um, you know, if, if you're concerned, what you can do is just test it. I mean, you know, the leverage is fine, especially the position you're in, cause you're pulling up. Um, where these are longer, they're kind of meant for, you know, pulling towards you, but where we're sat in the vans much higher, we can just pull them directly upwards, so it's, it's a bit easier. Um, so I've just got a junior hacksaw here, just because it's much easier. And then um, I'm pushing down against something sort of quite firm. And then, yeah, just starting the cut. Um, yeah, like I said, it's about 30, sort of 40 millimeters. And you'll see, so there's the barbs on the end, and then it starts to taper out. So we need to try and match this this thickness here basically and try and carry that down down the shaft here. It's all cut and then so that just slides on on there. Um, 
the first swivel I'm fitting is the uh, rib offset swivel. So uh, if you had a normal swivel, basically it's going to hit hit on this uh, pillar trim here. So uh, we've had to go for the offset swivel. Um, basically, it just because it's offset, it brings the arc out and around. Um, the rib swivel also comes with um, these like raising adapters. The idea being that uh, the plate as it moves round, you don't need a lowering bracket basically, which you would normally need. The downside is that obviously it raises the seat height again. Um, so if you're someone that you know needs quite a low low seat height for the pedals and stuff, then then that's not ideal. So like I said, this one basically sits in line. So we've got a nut underneath here. Uh, with a countersunk. Um, when you're sizing these uh, bolts uh, that, that you're coming through, they need to be obviously strong enough. So um, you need to make sure, I think, uh, these guys are using 10.9 grade bolts or uh, some of the other ones I got with the kit, 12.9. So it just means that they're gonna have the correct tensile strength basically in the bolts. You need to make sure that you get the right, the right strength for that. So here I've got the rusty Lee swivel. Um, now the reason we can't use the rib swivel on the other side is actually because the adapter brackets that I've got that came from uh, Volkswagen Transporter mods, because they sit out, the lever, the red lever on uh, the rib swivel uh, would basically interfere, like you wouldn't you wouldn't get it on. So uh, we needed to go for a, a front uh, activating swivel basically so uh, here we are um, and Rusty Lee are you know, some of the best guys to do it. There we have it. One sliding chair. So slide that back, just release the lever at the front, start to twist and uh, go all the way around. Obviously with the trim here we'd have to slide the seat forward um, and twist it but otherwise we've got one swivel seat in. Push this lever here, twist the back, shuffle the seat back and forwards. Yep, so you can see the lever is now shortened. If I pull it up, I've got good slide, so it works absolutely as functioned, even though it's been shortened. Um, and uh, yeah, it won't now get in the way and be really annoying and awkward. So it's actually been a week since I fit the fit the seats with the swivels in, um, and uh, obviously the the seat bases have uh, are, are raised as well, um, and then also because of the offset swivel that we've bought, that came with um, these these raised plates uh, to you know to try and get it over the handbrake. Um, but I'm not particularly tall, and I do have short legs, and I just found that. It was just way too high um you know just in the first time getting in i felt my head was so close to the roof um and it, it just wasn't a comfortable driving position so uh what i've done is i've gone and bought um a handbrake lowering kit now this is the Kiravans one so it comes with comes with a bracket i mean if if you wanted to buy a handbrake lowering kit they're only about 20 pounds but um to try and get a good one that also has the uh cover as well um that's that's the hard bit really because these are you know, they're quite expensive to make in relatively low volume. Um, and Kiravans have made one. Uh, it's a thermoformed one um, rather than injection molded. I know Transporter HQ do one as well. Um, I wasn't so keen on the shape of that one. I sort of much preferred the look of this one. So yeah, I'm gonna fit this uh, handbrake lowering kit just to, to bring it down. Um, and that means that the swivel can obviously still swivel. Um, 
and uh, yeah, my handbrake's just going to be lower, but I, I think it'll be for the best, especially with um, you know my my partner needing to drive as well. So uh, that that seating position will just be way too high for her also. So uh, this is definitely the best thing to do, even though it's now you know cost a little bit more than I originally wanted to spend. Um, and then I've always got these these raising plates if if I do decide that um, I want to raise it back up. So you know everything's there, nothing's you know cut or welded. It's none of it's permanent if needs be. So yeah, I'm going to fit that now, and then hopefully that'll be much better, uh, much better seating position. So that's the handbrake uh, lowering bracket fitted. So that's it all done now. Hopefully that's given you enough information for you to fit some uh, Golf Audi seats into your van um, and also apply with the swivels as well. Obviously I'm really happy with what I've got and what I've done. So if you like this video, please do like and subscribe and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.